Hello world, welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the reverse engineering challenge, Weird Snake. Let's get into it. I have a friend that enjoys coding and he hasn't stopped talking about a snake recently. He left this file on my computer and dares me to uncover a secret phrase from it. Can you assist? Okay, if you download the file, you get this object dump of some script or program. And if you scroll down, you find out that this is an object dump of a snake.py script, which is a Python script. So we need to figure out what this script is doing. Well, if we look at the beginning, we see that there's a bunch of constants being loaded into a list. And that list is called input list. Then a key string is being defined with the characters J underscore O three T. Now there's some things happening to the key strings here, which then get built into a key list. So these may not be in the exact order they're supposed to be in, but essentially it looks like we have a ciphertext of decimal numbers and a key. If we continue scrolling down, we see that the input list and the key list are being loaded. And if we scroll even further down, two things are being loaded here and a binary XOR operation is being performed on them. Now I can only assume that the two variables that are being stored and loaded here are the input list and the key list because those are the only two variables really being defined in the object dump. So that being the case, even though we don't really know exactly how the key is ordered or maybe the ciphertext is ordered differently as well since there's other functions that are being run here, we can at least try and see if it decodes with a simple XOR plain text attack. So we're gonna grab our ciphertext here and we're gonna open up a new file. We're gonna paste that in, and we're gonna clean this up so our ciphertext is all on one line. We'll do Control H for find and replace, and we're gonna do everything up until the first parenthesis. Make sure you escape the parenthesis, since the parenthesis is a symbolic character in regular expressions. And make sure you have the dot asterisk selected here as well so that you're actually using regular expressions. Then you're gonna replace that with nothing, and then we're going to do the parentheses and any new lines and replace those with spaces. Then we're going to copy that and paste it into CyberChef. Like so. Remove that last parenthesis there. Now we're going to look for from decimal. And you're going to want to do that because it's going to convert our decimal here to ASCII, which we need to do in order to get the proper XOR output that we want. So then you're going to look for the XOR operation. And we know what the characters of the key are, but if we try to type them in in the order that they're presented in the program, I'll show you what it looks like, actually. You're not going to get the correct plain text. So it's going to be capital J underscore O3T. Capital J underscore O3T, like so. And then UTF-8. And as you can see, it's still not readable. That probably means that the Python script is somehow reordering that key. But that doesn't really matter because we have plenty of plain text that we already know that would be in the flag. So we'll replace our key and do pico ctf, open curly brace like so. And then the first few bytes that match the length of our key up here should be the actual key. Because remember, XOR follows the transitive property. You can XOR the ciphertext with the plain text and get the key. You can XOR the plain text and the key to get the ciphertext. And you can XOR the key with the ciphertext to get the plain text. And here, we XOR the ciphertext with a partial plain text that we know to be correct to get the actual order of the key that we want. And the actual order of the key is T underscore J O three, like so. So we'll copy that and replace our key with that. And we get our flag, not so confusing snake. We'll copy that, paste it in, and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.